guys, it's Carrie with a much requested video. As you guys can tell by the title, we are going to be talking about studying Korean. And I've gotten so many messages from people who seem to have missed my life update video. So I'm gonna link it above or below, but basically I have a lot more free time on my hands. And my excuse for not studying Korean a lot while I'm here has always been that I don't have enough time. So now that I have time, no more excuses. I'm gonna jump back into it finally. And I figured making videos about it would be a good way to help keep me motivated, help keep you motivated and inspired, etc. So before we jump into the tips, I just wanna give a quick background of what my Korean study history is. So I studied abroad at Yonsei for one year um, and most of my classes were like history, cinema, etc. But part of our program was that we did have to take courses at the Korean Language Institute and I took absolutely level one because I came here knowing a bit. I could read, I could speak very basic things, but I wanted to have a good proper foundation. So I took one year of level one Korean and then everything since then has been self-taught or just picked up from living here. I'm the only foreigner in my company and so everything we do from chatting to emails to meetings, um, it's all in Korean. So my listening skills are quite good. However, I've gotten in the horrible habit of speaking English in order to save time because in meetings, rather than having me fumble through Korean, all of my coworkers understand Korean. So it's just quicker if they speak in Korean, I speak in English, we all understand each other. However, my speaking skills have suffered immensely because of that. So honestly, the most speaking practice I get is whenever I do this. <laughs> Taxi drivers are really great language exchange partners. Even though they kind of interrupt you, a lot of times they talk really, really fast and you tend to talk about the exact same topics every single time. So as a result, I'm really comfortable talking about kind of my life and very basic things, but I really wanna make the jump into being able to talk about broader topics. So I'm actually going to be focusing more on vocabulary right now. I feel that my grammar foundation, the grammar tools I have in my toolbox are sufficient for me to be able to talk about whatever I want to. My main problem I have when I'm trying to speak in Korean is I just don't know the words for a lot of things. So the following study tips in this video are going to be focused on improving your vocabulary. Obviously grammar is still important, so we'll talk about that a little bit at the end, but mainly I want to up my vocab. And so here are a few ways that I do that. So for me, my mornings set the tone for my entire day. So what I've started doing recently is using Duolingo for about 10 minutes or as long as it takes for me to kind of get ready in the morning, usually while I'm eating breakfast. This isn't sponsored, unfortunately, but Duolingo is a really cool app for learning different languages. They've kind of become a meme because their owl mascot is kind of terrifying. Like you get these really creepy notifications that it's like watching you. It really makes you go study though. Like that totally works for me. So even just doing 10 minutes of Duolingo in the morning, it inspires me throughout the day to have Korean study studying on the brain, if that makes sense. And their exercises are a really good mix of like writing it yourself, listening to it, choosing things. Um, so it really does kind of hammer in all the words that you are learning. And you're given a placement test in the beginning. So if you're like me and you know the basics already, you don't have to kind of fumble around and figure out what level you're at. I just found that it's a very helpful app. If you want to be friends on Duolingo, I have my invite code down below. Um, I don't have any friends yet, so I can't tell you what it does but I'm pretty sure we can kind of keep an eye on each other and I know that if people are watching me it will motivate me to work harder so hopefully we can inspire each other and yeah I will leave my link down below um, every little bit helps so yes Duolingo so one studying tip I hear a lot is 
watching dramas and writing down every single word that you don't know. So I agree with it in principle, but in practice, it's honestly really difficult. I actually tried this while watching Sky Castle and I was about 10 minutes in and I had an entire page of words that I didn't know and once I actually looked them up later, a lot of them were words that I actually wasn't going to really use on the daily. It was kind of disheartening and especially with Korean drama episodes being like an hour long minimum, um, it was really difficult and I, I really didn't enjoy it. So I kind of modified it to fit my needs. Instead, I have started watching a lot of Korean vloggers and just Korean YouTube channels. Typically the videos are less than 10 minutes long. Sometimes they're cooking videos, which is vocab I would use. A lot of times they're travel vloggers. They speak like real people and they use words that you would use all the time. I will link a couple of my favorites down below. This is also your excuse to watch Run BTS and similar shows like that. Um, they are really short. Again, they're using common words. They're talking like normal human beings. They aren't like really rich parents trying to send their kids to Seoul Day. And it's fun. If you are looking at, gee, I have to watch BTS for, you know, 10 minutes a day, bummer, you know, that's not going to be that hard for you, I'm assuming. Another fun one is watching the K-pop lyric videos. You're bopping around listening to music and you pick up certain words from the songs. If you listen to the songs later, you hear them again and you end up remembering them. So sometimes the words are a little bit weird. I wouldn't recommend like walking around speaking in just K-pop lyrics but um, you do pick up certain words that are very, very helpful. If you have ever felt intimidated by the watching a K-drama and writing down every single word and it didn't work for you, definitely try um, some YouTube videos, some short Korean shows, and some good old K-pop lyrics. So if you felt discouraged like me, that is definitely the route I would suggest. The name game, Judy. Judy, Judy, bo booty, banana, fana, fo foodie, thief, mo moody. And my final vocabulary studying exercise is the name game. So I try to pick a different room in my house every week or every other day, depending on how quickly I can remember all of the items. And I try to be able to name absolutely everything that is in this room. So how do I say toothbrush? How do I say tweezers, bathtub, shampoo, soap? toilet, etc. Once I know all of my nouns, then I move on to all of the verbs. So how do I say brush my teeth, wash my hair, take a shower, take a bath, and then I move into different rooms of the house or I expand it onto the street. And I found that it has made me so curious and also so aware of how many words I don't know. I never thought about how to say towel rack, but because I looked at every single detail in this room, now I know how to say towel rack. So yeah, I have found that the name game um, is quite helpful. You never know when you have to say pinfet, but now I can. That is another one that's just easy to do when you are getting ready in the morning, washing your face, stuff like that. Try and see how much you can say and then study everything that you can. <laughs> And last but not least, I promised you guys some grammar. So I have been a huge fan of Talk To Me in Korean since the beginning. I have used them since high school. Um, they have podcasts. Their YouTube channel now is such an incredible resource. Like their YouTube videos are so varied and just for some reason, the way that they teach, I have so much more success in remembering thing. They also, if you do get the podcast, I believe they're still free. You can download them one by one or you can purchase them and get them kind of as a mass download. It helps support Talk To Me In Korean, highly suggest it. Um, but you are also given an actual PDF. Um, it's almost like a mini textbook. And now Talk To Me In Korean has textbooks, which blows my mind. If you want to purchase those, you can, but there are so many still free resources on talktomeintokorean.com. I personally really like their vocabulary books. Um, they're just super fun. And another just weird game that I have picked up throughout my language learning, because I have studied a lot of different languages, I just get to the point where I am sufficient in a language and I never make the actual push 
to become fluent, which sucks, and that is what I am trying to do here. And they are conjugation tables. Um, once you learn a bunch of different tenses, just take a verb and try and conjugate it into every single verb tense that you know. So, kada, kayo, kasayo, kagesunida, kargeo, kargoyo, kaleo, kagayo, ding ding ding. I don't know, whenever you're bored, I actually do it like right before I go to sleep. It calms me down. Instead of counting sheep, I will conjugate verbs, which shows you just how insane I am. That is also just a really fun way to get comfortable with saying a verb in a certain tense so that once you try and use it in a sentence, you don't have to pause and conjugate it in your head first. Um, it just comes out naturally. So anyway, thank you for watching. Sorry that this was kind of messy. It's only been about two weeks since I've really dove back into studying Korean. So I hope in the future I can make some more specific videos about studying tips or about things that I've learned. Um, hopefully I can get Kurt to join in on a couple of them because as you guys know, he's like a language learning master. It's just one of the things he is incredibly good at. He has a lot of really great tips for actually making the jump to being fluent um, as he has done with obviously English. He's like getting there with French, which blows my mind. So hopefully he can join us. And yeah, please um, leave any suggestions down below um, if you have specific questions about studying Korean. So be sure to add me on Duolingo and good luck with your own studying adventure. Hopefully we can kind of push each other to be our very best, as corny as that sounds. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.